Why? He was my best friend, giving me everything I need. She was my girl friend, closer than two could ever be. He was my best man, best friend, yeah, yeah. She was my girlfriend, girlfriend, yeah, yeah. Supposed to be my best man. Ain't saying, but it should be moving my spirits. And that's my shit. Jagged ass best man. Could you imagine? Your best man slash best friend and your girlfriend fucking behind your back and you find out. I mean, you just lost two pieces of your whole fucking world. Your best friend, you supposed to be my nigga, my road dog, my day one. You supposed to have my back. And yeah, you supposed to have my back too. You supposed to be my woman, my lady, my soulmate, my girl. We supposed to be getting this shit together. And you fuck this nigga. You you throw me away to go mess with something like that. She does this to me. What the fuck you think you're gonna do to you? Now you losing me. And then if y'all fucked up, y'all lost each other. Now you fuck now I'm hurt because I lost both of y'all because I'm the most loyal out of all you must bruh. That should be hitting me in the feels, man. Be making me think. How do you, man? I love that damn song. Jagged ass best man. Oh man, it's slow, but the damn message in that oh bruh, I can't trust nobody. I mean, yeah, you really can't trust nobody, but I got some people I trust. I ain't gotta worry about. I got a best friend. Real fucking cool. Whoever girl, whatever girl he's with, I interestingly, interestingly, I instantly have no interest in. And oh, that becomes a sister. So we in this together. When if y'all ever break up, we all broke up. You broke up with me and him. <laughs> so we all can get divorced. That's how I was supposed to go. He's the same way. Like, I've known him for fucking years, 10 plus years. Like, man, we real fucking close. We clicked instantly. We was good. Speaking of. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be right if I didn't tell the truth. I, 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 I can't lie. Because there's a lesson always in telling the story in its entirety and how exactly how it happened <laughs> even if it doesn't go my way like i like i didn't tell y'all stories about me getting my ass beat he thought i was a thug he <laughs> got whooped on <laughs> nigga beat the thug tendencies out of me <laughs> I got my get back though, but I don't want to be a thug after that. I was like, yeah, I ain't no thug. I ain't a gangster. <laughs> I got head, but I don't need to throw him around all, you know, willy nilly. Just throw him when I need to. Not not just because I want to. Oh man, that was a hilarious ass story. Oh man. He beat that shit out of me that day. <laughs> Yeah, I know you're probably like, hey, tell the world this. I don't care. It happens. Shit. Anybody can't be in good spirit. I mean, shit happens. Oh, back to what I was about to say. Homeboy calls me. Let me make this shit short. Because there's some other shit that go into it, but let's make this shit short. Homeboy calls me and say, yo, you want to hit the bar? I was like, ah, oh, cool. Let's hit it. Just send me the address. Send me the time and I'll meet you there. So he sends me the address. Time. We go. We chill at the bar. Watch this game. You know, um. I got my strawberry lemonade. He got his fucking, uh, his drink, his beer. Yes, I said strawberry lemonade. I don't really drink like that. So, got my strawberry lemonade. Just chilling. And, um, girls walk in. They come, they sit, like, right at the bar. So, he goes, so we sit in for a minute, and he goes, hey, we should go talk to him. I was like, cool. I mean, go find, go pick the one you want to talk to and I keep the other one occupied while you talk to the one you want to talk to because I'm going home alone. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I didn't come here for that. I came here just to chill, watch the game or whatever. He was like, all right, cool. So he gets up, I follow him. Um, We go over there, approach him. He go, hey ladies, how y'all doing? All right. 
they turn around, they say, fine. We look at each other like, nah, that shit's unnatural. And then <laughs> she go, don't mind my voice. I just have a cold. I can't hold it no more. I said, get the fuck out of here. Really? No fuck. Oh. She was like, what? Motherfucker, your voice is deeper than mine's. Hell fucking no. Oh my. He looked like, yo, I was like, fuck that. I better go sit my ass back down over there. You ladies have a good night. <laughs> right? He follows me. <laughs> and we sit down. And I look at him. He was like, I know. I sit. Nigga, let's just watch this game, bro. <laughs> That's fine. I'm, I'm with that community. I support all that shit. I mean, I got a, I got a gay cousin. I got a, a, a gay niece. Well, lesbian niece. You know, I support all that shit. I think everybody should be comfortable who they are. Which gives me the confidence to, to like what I like. <laughs> that wasn't what I liked. <laughs> and I know that wasn't what that they like. Uh, that shit threw me off like a, I was like, yo. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, got a code. All right. You know what that shit remind me of? <laughs> Have you ever seen Man of Black 3? I think it was 3. Mad Black 3, there was an alien at a bar. Will Smith was walking by. And the alien said, how are you doing? And Will Smith go, chilling. <laughs> I always wonder why that part was in the movie. Because it didn't serve no purpose for the movie. That movie was ahead of its time. That part was ahead of its time. That's why. That shit was hilarious. Like, we made jokes about it. Like, not, not, not on top of jokes, just jokes about it. Like, yo, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> and it kind of reminded me of um, another movie that was ahead of its time. Uh, if you ever seen the movie with uh, Jaden Pickett, Woo. <laughs> when that nigga was in the bar, he was killing it up in the club. He was killing it. He was like, you just see that Adam's apple? They all men. <laughs> and then they, uh, they come running. Yeah, hickeys all on their neck. <laughs> and when they told him he was, they was men, he lost his shit. He was like, don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> oh, Put my seat in the movie because that was hilarious, man. Oh man, it's funny. I'm you sensitive about this shit. I don't care. <laughs> I don't. This shit is a. It happened to me. This shit is hilarious. <sighs> I'm finding humor in it. Uh, bad meets evil. Raw. <laughs> Raw. <laughs> Uh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I had to get my motherfucking bearish back, man. Shit. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm about to get this shit started. That just, it's just funny to me. Like, I swear, man, if this didn't happen to nobody else, I, if you will be on a hunt and this haven't happened to you, that's dope. But if it has, come on, man. Don't let me be alone. Share my pain, bruh. <laughs> I was about to be the wig man. <laughs> I didn't know they had a wing, man. I 
Okay. All right. I'm in tears. Oh, if you can't make fun of yourself, bro, but oh, then hey, you can't have a sense of humor. My homeboy was like, "You should be a comedian." He said, "You're a good storyteller. You got jokes." I was like, "You should be a comedian because you're a lot funnier than me." <laughs> uh shit. I told him, and I'm gonna be your manager. That's right. I'm gonna take fifteen percent. He said, "I thought manager could ten percent, other five percent for being your best friend, bro." <laughs> I want to get paid up your talent. Yeah, I ain't doing a damn thing. I'm just going to stand there with my arms crossed. You on the stage? I'm like, and I'm going to look at the crowd, make sure they're laughing. Write that joke down. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I, I'm a, I'm, I, if he ever goes for it, I tell him I'm going to be a damn manager. I don't know shit about managing, but I will learn. I'll be all up in them club. I got the new hottest talent, bruh. Let me stop promoting. Pat me the raw. <laughs> you watching me? I'm watching you. You here? Cause you want me to break this down for you. Let's get it. I wasn't even listening to what the fuck he was saying. That damn beat and tremble. That shit was dope. Nah, damn. My bad, my bad. The whole song will be everything I say be raw. I mean, god damn. <laughs> we think it's start rapping, bro. We gotta get to this nigga. Come on, bro. Don't do me like that, bro. Everything I say be raw. Everything I say be raw. You can never be my nemesis. You against me is me being a fool and you being an enemy with benefits. I don't even consider myself deep when I'm rolling with 30 niggas because I'm so used to being in a syndicate. Boots on with my strap on me. You don't know how easy to season in Finnegate. Bad me, will catch a body, catch a body. That's the membership. Oh, shit, Royce. Look out, okay, exercise bar, nigga. Yeezy, nigga. Yeezy with the strap on him, the boots with the strap on him, nigga. Combat boots ready for war, nigga. Then you got the strap, you know, the strap, strap. Yo. Okay, nigga. Workout plan. Okay, Yeezy. Oh my God, it's so many. Oh my God. Everything he say be wrong, nigga. Oh, that nigga said enemy with benefits. No, 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 no. Not friends with benefits. Enemy with benefits. You can't be my nemesis. Enemy with benefits. That means nobody know who the fuck you are. So if I say your name, they're going to be wondering who the fuck I'm talking about. Now it's bringing you notoriety. Everybody's going to be looking like, who am I talking about? And they're going to bring you fame. So fuck you. I can't give you those benefits. What's crazy is M said something like that. When you talk about MGK, I want to, like, when you talk about these niggas, I want to destroy him. But I can't. Because once I mention somebody's name, they blow up. And then I got to destroy them. But I don't want them to blow up. They can't fuck with me. But I want to fuck with them because to show them that they can't fuck with me, that's a hell of a dilemma. I whoop your ass, but I can't whoop your ass because everybody know I can fight, and then everybody gonna want to challenge me. But I want to whoop your ass. You know what? I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> he whooped his ass so bad, that nigga with the rock. That nigga said, "You know what? Fuck this rap ain't for me." And me go scream and yell. I never heard his music on the rock side, so I don't know what the fuck you doing over there. But 
no disrespect to the rock music. I listen to a little bit of rock. I don't know what the fuck you doing over there, but that that shit dope though. Enemy with benefits, bruh. Enemy with benefits. I don't even consider myself deep when I'm rolling with 30 niggas because I'm so used to being in a syndicate. Boots on with my strap on me. You don't know how easy the season finna get. Bad and evil. Catch a body. Catch a body. That's a membership. Woo. Put you on my hit list and turn around and kill up all the snitches. And turn around and go to church repent and ask the reverend, can I get a witness? Ha. I got an IOU on my Bible's view. Even God knows what I'm liable to do when I'm high, bro. I represent the same significance in hip-hop as Parker Biggie. Drive a side car, dope. Sip a mulatto. Best believe I got no problem fucking your bitch raw and that mean i got no kind of panamera porsche factory real white that's me in real life and i probably is that a biggie and pop record so when you say fuck a pop boys uh hit him up i can't even get the lyrics together because i'm so fucking tired damn that was hard you came to you claim to be a player but i fucked your wife i got no problem fucking your bitch with no kind of. <laughs> oh, only God can judge me. That's uh, did he? He must have had something reference with uh, Biggie. Oh, I gotta listen to that shit again. But okay, hold on, hold on. As I'm talking, I'm catching more shit. Repent the next Reverend, can I get a witness? Go back a little bit further. Hold up. Somebody, that's a membership. Woo! Put you on my hit list and turn around and kill up all the snitches and turn around and go to church repent and ask the reverend can i get a witness ha, i got an iou on my bible's view even god knows what i'm liable to do when i'm high bro i represent the same significance in hip-hop as pocket biggie drive a side car dope sip a mulatto best believe i got no problem fucking your bitch raw in that i'm missing a reference Hit list and turn around and kill up all the snitches and turn around and go to church repent and ask the reverend can I get a witness? Ha, I got an IOU on my Bible's view. Even God knows what I'm liable to do when I'm high, bro. I represent the same significance in hip hop as pocket biggie drive a side car dope, sip a mulatto. Best believe I got no problem fucking your bitch raw, and that mean I got no condo. Panamera Porsche, factory real white, that's me in real life, and I probably be menaging mode in the back of Meek Mill bike. I'm Hollywood. Everything about me. Nicki Minaj, bro. It might not even be nothing there, but if you, if you get the reference, uh. I mean, God can judge me too, Pac, and then I claim to be a player, but I fuck try to beat him up. Um, not that one. It's the N O T O R I O U S. You just lay down. It could be that reference to that song, and it could be a reference to uh Big Papa. Find a bitch in the club, Nicki Minaj. Club music and all that shit. Okay, I I can I can see the connection, but I think I might be reaching. With benefits, I don't even consider myself deep when I'm rolling with thirty niggas, cause I'm so used to being in a syndicate. Boots on with my strap on me, you don't know how easy the season finna get. Bad and evil, catch a body, catch a body, that's a membership. Woo. Put you on my hit list and turn around and kill up all the snitches and turn around and go to church repent and ask the reverend can I get a witness? Ha, I got an IOU on my Bible's view. Even God knows what I'm liable to do when I'm high, bro. I represent the same significance in hip hop as pocket biggie drive a side car dope, sip a mulatto. Best believe I got no problem. Fucking yo. They buy me wine. I'm gonna pick him from behind. Okay, yes. Yeah. So love it when you call me big. All right, all right. I got it. That was it. I know I wasn't tripping. On my hit list and turn around and kill up all the snitches and turn around and go to church Man, repent and ask the reverend can i get a witness ha, i got an iou on my bible's view even god knows what i'm liable to do when i'm high bro i represent the same significance in hip-hop as pocket biggie drive a side car dope sip a mulatto best believe i got no problem fucking your bitch raw and that mean i got no condo 
Panamera Porsche, factory real white, that's me in real life. And I probably be menaging mode in the back of Meek Mill bike. I'm Hollywood. Everything about me, bro. I'm the lyrics that I play. I'm Hollywood. That was nice. Everything I say, be bro. I mean, I'm all right, it took me a minute. That was nice. <laughs> Love it when you call me Big Pop. Pop. References. Okay, all right, nigga. That's my shit, though. That beat is dope. It's dope. Name, what's your sign? Something. I, I gotta go. I miss to know that shit at the back of my hand. And I gotta go listen to that shit. And one of my other shit is, um, I don't think it's referenced in here, but it could be. It's party and bullshit. All we do is party and bullshit and that shit go in. I, that that makes sense. All right, that's dope. Everything I do be what I do I do it one way. I'm hard about everything about me. You're on top of the world. Every motherfucker wants to get a piece of your ass. Then you take a little time off from being unstoppable, just to regroup and relax. No one will give you the time of fucking death. Defrost the rest of y'all. I thought I heard his voice coming in. This motherfucking white boy. I do, I do it one way. I'm hard about everything about me, bro. You're on top of the world. Every motherfucker wants to get a piece of your ass. Then you take a little time off from being unstoppable just to regroup and relax. No one will give you the time of fucking death. Where did they would put that shit right there? Right. You're on top of when you're going away. Try to take a little break from being the top. Give you comfort something, and then nobody give you the time of day. Everything about me, bro. I mean, yeah. You're on top of the world. Every motherfucker wants to get a piece of your ass. Then you take a little time off from being unstoppable just to regroup and relax. No one will give you the time of fucking death. He's put that there to get you in a mindset. And I'm trying to capture the mindset. I think the mindset is, is, is a couple of his albums. He's at the top of the world when what? I don't know. He had three diamond, three diamond. Pick one. So when was this nigga never at the top of the fucking point? I mean, yes, he had his uh, drug and it. Relapse. Martial Matters LP. Took some time off. Only bar that keep coming to my mind is, uh, and I, I know he does this type of shit on purpose. Because when he does this shit, it's, it's calculated. And I know because when you when you attack something, when you wonder when you rap, you have to be a tactician. And the best thing about rap is you kind of can control how somebody thinks, control what you want them to think. But you just gotta uh, it's like. You just gotta put the clues there and you can like it's like breadcrumbs, handsome and good breadcrumbs. So Marsha Matters LP. And well, the only bar that keep coming to my mind is on call, I was on drugs and relapsed, I was flushing them out. I don't know why every time I listen to his shit, and honestly, I do know why. Every time I listen to a shit, I think of that that bar. No matter what song I'm listening to, I just think of that bar because it it just it just resonates with a lot of his shit. Encore, I was on drugs. Everything from encore backwards, I was on drugs. Relapse and forward, I was flushing them out. So it's like two different sides of a coin, same coin, right? Two different sides. So encore, on drugs, relapse, I was flushing them out. So there's a middle ground. Encore relapse. There's something he found between both of them. 
that has them go beyond relapse. That's probably where he's about to talk from. On top of the world. Take a break. Okay. It makes sense. That makes sense. No one will give you time or fucking day. I'm Pete Frost, the best of y'all, just one of them. I'm becoming what I used to make fun of. Smoke son of a bitch, fuck it though. Go for the fucking juggler. Leave him in a puddle of blood him. Kill a puddle I think I was on. I think I was. I think I was dead on. I think I was dead on because what he just said. No one will give you time or fucking death. I'm Frost, the best of y'all, just one of her. I'm becoming what I used to make fun of her. Smoke son of a bitch, fuck it though. I'm coming. I used to make fun of her. A bully. He's becoming a bully of the rap game. Bully. Okay. This is right in the middle. So he's talking about both. I'm becoming what I used to make fun of. I used to get bullied. Now I am the bully. Okay. All right. All right. That's dope. I'm becoming what I used to make fun of. Her. Smoke son of a bitch. Fuck it though. Go for the fucking juggler. Leave him in a puddle of blood. Him up. Kill a blood. Him up. Cut up all the others. Bloody glove in a prison yard. Jody area. Yes, I'm coming for you. Fuck up the world. Dust in a proof. Here I come as a custodian. I'm trapped. I smoke with your ass out. Wrapped up. Just one of them. I'm becoming what I used to make fun of. Them. Smoke son of a bitch. Fuck it though. Go for the fucking juggler. Leave him in a puddle of blood. Him up. Kill a blood. Him up. Cut up all the others. Bloody glove in a prison yard. Jody area. Yes, I'm coming for you. Fuck up the world. Dust in a proof. Here I come as a custodian. I'm trapped. I smoke with your ass out. Wrapped up in a comforter. Come suck a love with a another fucking nut. We'll make a trouble trouble. I'm not walking off. I'm not. Nigga, you can't make me walk off. You're not. You're not going to. Not this time. Not this time, nigga. No. You're not. Fuck that. If y'all were looking for a walk off, it's not happening. It's not. I'm going to sit right here. And I'm going to collect my thoughts. That shit's not happening, bro. I'm a killer. The girl that he mentioned, Jody, was a killer. I'm going to come dressed as a custodian, a salesman. The person she killed was an ex-boyfriend. He was a salesman. This nigga talking about the murder. I'm not going to get up. I'm not. It's not happening. You got your bars, bruh. And sometimes I can't control myself. But this time, I'm going to control myself, nigga. I'm not getting up. I don't care what you say. Fuck that. I'm getting comfortable. Might even turn on my massage thing so I can, you know, get my back massage as I'm listening to this. Nigga tripping. I'm not getting up. Ain't happening, bruh. It ain't happening. Give you time or fucking death. I'm Frost, the best of y'all, just one of them. I'm becoming what I used to make fun of. Smoke son of a bitch, fuck it though. Go for the fucking juggler. Leave him in a puddle of blood. Him up. Kill a blood. Him up. Cut up all the others. Bloody glove in a prison yard. Jody. Leave him in a puddle of blood. I'm a cut above. Oh, the nigga was missing. They said he was missing for seven days. They went to his house. There was puddles of blood around the house. They found him in the shower and a pool of blood. Nigga was stabbed, I think like 20 plus times, 25, 26, whatever, 20 plus times. And got his throat slit. And to top it all off, she also shot him in the head. Oh my God. She got life. So this nigga say he's gonna go to jail. Dressed like a custodian. As her, oh my God, this boy. That shit was everywhere. That, you couldn't watch TV. Even if you was watching a movie, that shit was everywhere. 
He couldn't avoid that story. That was crazy. Stabbed him all them times, slit his throat, and shot him in the head. That's crazy. Everything about me, bro. Top of the world. She got Every life without the wants to get a piece of your ass. Then you take a little time off from being unstoppable. Just I'm above the rest. Group and relax. Not getting up. No one will give you time of fucking day. Be crossed up. Best of y'all just one of them. I'm becoming what I used to make fun of. Her. Smoke son of a bitch. Fuck it though. Go for the fucking juggernaut. Leave them in a pot of them. Blood them up. Kill a bottom up. Cut up all the others. Bloody glove up. Prison yard. Jody area. Yes, I'm coming for you. Fuck up the world. Dust in Here I come as a custodian. I'm trapped to smoke with you. Ass out. Wrapped up in a comforter. Come stuff a love with her. Never fucking up. We'll make a double chop the butter. I'm gonna take a chubby shove it up. That next round. Little bubble butt. Make a double stuff. Pull it out one hole. Put it in the other one. Make a peanut butter cup. Go break out of jail, fucker. <laughs> Trouble, bud. <laughs> I'm not getting up, nigga. I don't care what you say. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I didn't get to make a peanut butter cup, bruh. Rapper in the comforter. You know, all, most serial killers, when they kill people, they wrap her up in a blanket, a cop. And it's crazy. So you're going to wrap her up in a cop. <laughs> I don't care who doesn't approve. That, that nigga, ew, bruh. I'm becoming what I used to make fun of. Smoke son of a bitch, fuck it though. Go for the fucking juggernaut. Leave him in a puddle of blood him up. Kill a bun him up. Cut up all the others, bloody glove him up. Prison yard, Jody area, yes, I'm coming for you. Fuck up the world, dust in her. Proof, here I come as a custodian. I'm trapped to smoke with you. Ass out, wrapped up in a comforter. Come stuck a love with her. Another fucking up. We'll make a tell her, drop the butter. I'm going to take a chubby, shove it up that next round. Little bubble butt, make a double stuff. <laughs> okay, I think that's a reference to what the nigga uh, Roy said in the end verse about Nicki Minaj. I think that's a reference to Nicki Minaj, too. Did she have a song called Chuffa Butter or something like that? Nigga. And then Bubble Butt. Oh, my God. We all know how she got that ass. But. I don't really, I don't really like the body work. Big ass doesn't attract me. It's nice to look at. About it. Go for the fucking juggernaut. Leave him in a puddle of blood him up. Kill a bottom up. Cut up all the others. Bloody glove him up. Prison yard, Jody area. Yes, I'm coming for you. Fuck up the world. Dust in her. Proof. Here I come as a custodian. I'm trapped to smoke with you. Ass out, wrapped up in a comforter. Come stuff a love with her. Another fucking up. We'll make a tell her. Drop the butter. I'm gonna take a chubby shove it up that next round. Little bubble butt. Make a double stuff. Pull it out one hole. Put it in the other one. Make a peanut butter cup. Buzz. Yeah, we can fuck on the golf cart. Tell me how you want it. Soft card. Fucking rough like a dog park. Stop at the Walmart. Get a couple of 50 watt balls with a hot tub. Then she pulled out the condom and joy. She nigga talking about the Frank's hot dogs, bruh. And nigga even got the ballpark buns. But also the ballpark. You can see it. Uh, uh. <laughs> said to go to Walmart. <laughs> I can't with this nigga, man. I can't. Leave him in a puddle of blood him up. Kill a bottom up. Cut up all the others. Bloody glove in a prison yard. Jody area. Yes, I'm coming for you. Fuck up the world. Dust in her. Proof. Here I come as a custodian. I'm trapped to smoke with you. Ass out. Wrapped up in a comforter. Come stuff a love with her. Another fucking up. We'll make a tell her. Drop the butter. I'm going to take a chubby shove it up that next round. Little bubble butt. Make a double stuff. Pull it out one hole. Put it in the other one. Make a peanut butter cup. Buzz. Yeah, we can fuck on the golf cart. Tell me how you want it. Soft card. Fucking rough like a dog park. Stop at the Walmart. Get a cup. The fuck on the golf cart. Tell me if you want a soft heart or fucking rough. He describing the golf course. Oh my. <laughs> I knew that nigga talking at the, in the before inverse was a problem. I knew it. Oh my. This is the middle version. This is who this is. This is that middle version. This is the nigga that's on Music To Be Murdered By. This is that nigga on Kamikaze. This is the nigga on Recovery. That nigga, this is that middle version. I'm not lo no longer on drugs. I'm no longer flushing them out. Nigga, I'm sober. This, this is who that nigga is. Revival, all of them. This is, this is that nigga. 
That nigga's dangerous. That nigga's dangerous. No matter what version of M you get, it's dangerous. But sometimes, under the right circumstances, what one version of M is dangerous. It's it's crazy how he does that. It's like he pulled from different sectors of his mind. Like, all right, I'm gonna say this. But Slim, I want you to shine more than M. M, I want you to, you know, be the story, but you know, get what I'm saying. Marshall, you need to be a little bit sensitive. But Slim, we all gonna support Slim. We're gonna support this nigga. This nigga's gonna lead this verse. That'd be funny if that's how it goes, because that's how it seems. Because this shit just switch. Just switch. It's just switch. Oh, I'm gonna be Marshall today. Oh no, I'm gonna be uh Slim today. You know what? I'm gonna be M today. I'm gonna be all three. I like to call that sober i call that sober m or i'm gonna give it a new name because it's all of them you know what i gotta think about that i gotta think of what to call that shit i can't call it sober m i gotta call it something because sober m just seems too so basic right gotta come with something dope i think i think of something i think of something right now it's white chocolate bro that's what we call them white chocolate for you fuck up the world does it approve here i come as a custodian i'm dressed to smoke with your ass out wrapped up in a comforter come suck a love with another fucking up will make a tumble drop the butter i'm gonna take a chubby shovel up that nice round little bubble butt make a double stuff pull it out one hole put it in the other one make a peanut butter cup buzz yeah we can fuck on the golf cart tell me how you want it soft hard a fucking rough like a soft park stop at the walmart get a couple of 50 watt balls with a hot tub fill up them buns with a hot dog to be frank these other motherfuckers ain't even in the ball then she pulled out the condom and drawer. She must have heard this is where the condoms get stored. Sign up the door to the sauna says, Welcome to the sauna, make a more. Told her I got something for it. Sharpen is pointed, and its head's on small. Hold it like a samurai. She said, Well, look at that bulge. Must have a huge ego. I said, Is it me you're aiming at compliment towards? She said, Yes, my ninja. Please get the stab in this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch, you made me get up. Oh. <laughs> Why that bitch worry that you're right, bruh. <laughs> I'm in tears. Oh man, god damn. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Bus, yeah, we can fuck on the golf cart. Tell me how you want it soft hard. I'm fucking rough like a dog park. Stop at the Walmart. Get a couple of 50 watt balls with a hot tub. Fill up them buns with a hot dog. To be frank, these other motherfuckers ain't even in the ballpark. Then she pulled out the condom and drawer. She must heard this is where the condoms get stored. Sign up at the door to the sauna says, Welcome to the sauna, make a more. I told her I got something for it. Sharp and it's pointed and it's head. Oh. I didn't catch that. Hold up. I was so, in, you know, up in the flow. I didn't even catch that part. Hold up. Like a dog park stop at the Walmart. Get a couple of 50 watt balls with a hot tub. Fill up them buns with a hot dog. To be frank, these other motherfuckers ain't even in the ballpark. Then she pulled out the condom and drawer. She must heard this is where the condoms get stored. Sign up at the door to the sauna says, Welcome to the sauna, make a more. Told her I got something for it. Sharp in his. I need to name the Biblical place. That's what it sounds like, the Biblical place in the Bible. Oh, the fucking rough like a dog park stop at the Walmart. Get a couple of 50 watt balls with a hot tub. Then she pulled out the condom and drawer. She must have heard this is where the condoms get stored. Sign up at the door to the sauna says, Welcome to the sauna, make a more. I told her I got something for it. Sharp All right, it was. Um, I never I would up at the place where uh, it's a soda and whatever, how you say that. Um, that's the place with a whole bunch of uh, shit was going down in the Bible. It says that God burned that place to the ground. Nothing else ever grew there again. Um, two cities. Child abuse, all that stuff. Homosexuality, all that crazy stuff. So just burned it to the ground. Just fell from the heavens. Burn. 
And then he said, um, Asana from the Steam. The place is still <laughs> over there. It's still burnt, like get some enough steam. Still can feel the heat over there. That's dope. M definitely reads the Bible. That's dope. That's that's dope. And and that's dope. And my grandmother used to read me the Bible. Like I hated going to church. I mean who was in church on a Wednesday? Um, I was about to curse. I don't curse when I talk about God. Especially, I can really like in front of my son and in front of God. I can I can control myself. But speaking on God, we was in church on a Wednesday. I guess you could say it's Bible study or whatever. All day, I fell asleep. All I know is I fell asleep. I remember waking up in the bed at my grandmother's house. I don't and like it was like it was I was outside playing while she was in Bible study. She told me to come in and I was listening to the Bible study. The dude, the the, pre, the preacher talk. That nigga would not shut up. I shouldn't even say nigga. My bad. That preacher would not shut up. And then Eddie Griffin was right. Church was like a concert for old people because it's they it was it was thoroughly enjoying themselves. And I'm like, man, can we go? And so I'm whispering, like, yo, when it's over, she's like, shh. And dang, you can't even answer my question. That's crazy. I was like, I'm tired. Put my head down on her lap and I was asleep. I woke up at home. I don't know who carried me or what. I was at home. But I'm gonna get my house. That's crazy, but I saw know about that. That's dope. That's dope how you how you put that in there and it goes with it. Hot dogs, hot dogs on the slow road, they slowly roasting. From that place that got burned down, you know, that place this video in the Bible, it's in the Bible. Because it got burned down and that sauna, nothing could ever grow there. That's dope. That's dope. We can fuck on the golf cart, tell me how you want it soft hard or fucking rough like a dog park stop at the Walmart, get a couple of 50 watt bombs with a hot tub, fill up them plugs with a hot dog to be frank, these other motherfuckers ain't even in the ballpark. Then she pulled That's what the reference from the 50 watts in a hot tub. You know, you get treated in the steam coming up. But you know, usually it catches a fire. That's what that reference was. So he's doing that and he's talking about the hot dogs at the same time. And he's talking about uh Sodom. That's the city. Start with a G. I can never pronounce it right. So I don't want to mess it up. I can never pronounce it right. Those cities been burned down because of all that stuff. All that's like crazy samples going away. It's crazy stuff that was going down over there. But that's what you're talking about. That's dope. That's that's dope ass reference. I, I, I like it. Empty white bombs with a hot tub. Fill up them bunks with a hot dog. To be frank, these other motherfuckers ain't even in the ballpark. Then she pulled out the condom and drawer. She must have heard this is where the condoms get stored. Sign up on the door to the sauna says, Welcome to Sauna Make a More. Told her I got something for it. Sharpen is pointed and its head's on swole. Hold it like a samurai. She said, Wow, look at that bulge. Must have a huge ego. I said, Is it me you're aiming at compliment towards? She said, Yes, my ninja. Please get to stabbing this shit. I commence. One time I wanted him to say that's my nigga. That's my ninja. Oh, you said did you say that's my ninja? Hold on. But a samurai sword. Samurai sword. You hold that shit with Brad. That's dope. <laughs> Leave it below. Welcome to Sauna Make a More. Told her I got something for it. Sharp and it's pointed. And its head's on small. Hold it like a samurai. She said, Wow, look at that. Bows must have a huge ego. I said, Is it me you're aiming at compliment toward? She said, Yes, my ninja. Please get to stabbing this shit. I Is it me that you're aiming at compliment toward? Like, Yes, my ninja. <laughs> Said bows and a sharp air pony. Put it on like a samurai sword. <laughs> that is dope. One more time. One more time. God damn. Cause ain't even in the ballpark. Then she pulled out the condom and drawer. She must heard this is where the condoms get stored. Sign up at the door to the sauna says, Welcome to Sauna Make a More. Told her I got something for it. Sharp and it's pointed. And its head's on small. Hold it like a samurai. She said, Wow, look at that. Bulge must have a huge ego. I said, Is it me you're aiming at compliment towards? She said, Yes, my ninja. Please get to stabbing this shit. I commenced to dropping them drawers through my black belt and gauntlets all onto the floor. Zip down my fly. Whip out my confidence. Song. Everything about me.
me raw From the lyrics to the gunplay Yes, my ninja. <laughs> this is the stab this shit. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, man. I'm telling you, you gotta mess with somebody with this humor. Somebody tell me that. I'm smiling like a motherfucker. I'm. I'm... What? <laughs> you want it like that? Okay. I forgot to stab it, that shit. <laughs> Oh, hold it like a samurai, she said, wow, look at that, bow. Yeah, the double entendre is killing. Reference to uh, Jody, the case he was talking about earlier. Dope, because that's what he stabbed her 27 times, 27, 8, 20, whatever, he stabbed him 20 plus times. Dope. Must have a huge ego. I said, is it me you're aiming at compliment towards? She said, yes, my ninja, please get to stabbing this shit. I commenced to dropping them drawers through my black belt and gauntlets all onto the floor. Zip down my fly, whip out my confidence. Oh! Everything about me brought from the lyrics to the gunplay. I'm hard body. Did you say confident sword or did you say confident sword? I got it. I got it. Confident sword. Confident sword. Like your confident rose. Whipped out his dick into confidence. She's like, yeah, stab it this shit. Yes, my name. Like she's talking about big it is shit. My confident sword. So subtle. Confident sword. Confident source. Oh my God. That's why he prolonged it. Yes, my ninja. You're aiming at compliment towards. She said, Yes, my ninja. Please get to stabbing this shit. I commenced to dropping them drawers through my black belt and gauntlets all onto the floor. Zip down my fly. Whipped out my confidence. Oh. Everything about me bro. from the lyrics to the gun. Listen to what this nigga said. This nigga was hilarious. And I low-key think it was a little slight mistake, but it was funny. Do that my black actually, it might not have been a mistake. I'm thinking of a karate. Obviously, he was talking about a karate reference, ninja and all that stuff, but and you dressed up like a ninja. Black belt. Of course, the black belt karate is the highest belt, but you can also, there's also regular black belts. All right. It goes into reference what he was saying in the beginning. I'm going to kill it. So I'm thinking, I was thinking like taking that shit literally, not knowing that this nigga that walking, talking, quadruple, double and tired. That makes sense. No, my that that makes sense. Okay, I'm a killer, and then you start rapping about old girl, and then hot dogs, and then the place that got burned down, <laughs> stabbing and shit, going back to the killing, smashing it. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I get it. There it go. I was taking that shit too literal. My bad. It's all onto the floor, zip down my fly, whip out my confidence. That's I thought he messed up. Just to throw his gauntlets and shit, so he was dressed up for battle to kill, <laughs> you know, like a ninja. But he zipped this fly. You know, I was thinking about the little ninja suit. They don't have no damn fly. But this nigga not dressed like a ninja. He just had a sword, but she was talking about his dick. Yes, my ninja. But if his dick is already out, what did he unzip his fly for? So maybe I don't know. Maybe. Hold up. Hold up. Soft card, tell me how you want it, soft card. A fucking rough like a soft park. Stop at the Walmart, get a couple of 50 watt bombs with a hot tub. Fill up them puns with a hot dog. To be frank, these other motherfuckers ain't even in the ballpark. Then she pulled out the condom and drawer. She must have heard this is where the condoms get stored. Sign up the door to the sauna says, Welcome to the sauna, make a more. Told her I got something for it. Sharpen is pointed and its head's on small. Hold it like a samurai. She said, Wow, look at that bows. Must have a huge ego. I said, Is it me you're aiming at compliment towards? She said, Yes, my ninja. Please get to stabbing this shit. I commenced to dropping them drawers through my black belt and gauntlets all onto the floor. Zip down my fly. Whip out my confidence. Oh! Okay. See? That's why I know M puts his shit together correctly. Even when you try to find a mistake, you gotta go. He, made, he did that shit on purpose. Make you think he made a mistake, like bait you, and then he's like, "Nah, go listen to that shit again." What did I say? And then you go listen to it again. Oh, I didn't hear that shit before. 
My bad. <laughs> it's but you said she's seen the bowl, so it didn't come out yet. And he said, hold it. <laughs> like a samurai sword. <laughs> yes, my did you? Okay, now I get it. That makes sense like a nigga. Them punks with a hot dog to be frank, these other motherfuckers ain't even in the ballpark. Then she pulled out the condom and drawer. She must have heard this is where the condoms get stored. Sign up the door to the sauna says, Welcome to the sauna, make a more. Told her I got something for it. Sharpen is pointed and its head's on small. Hold it like a samurai. She said, Well, look at that bulge. Must have a huge ego. I said, Is it me you're aiming that compliment toward? She said, That's yes, my ninja. Please get the stab in this shit. I commenced to dropping them drawers through my black belt and gauntlets all onto the floor. Zip down my fly, whip out my confidence. Song. My confidence sword. Everything about me burnt from the lyrics to the gunplay. He said both. Whips up my confidence sword. He said them both. Both the words. Sword and ended with a D. So it's like passes. My confidence sword. Alright. He said them both at the same time. That's dope. I'm hard body. Everything I say be wrong. I'm Everything I do be wrong. What I do, I do it one way. I'm hard body. Everything about me, bro, and I mean it. So that is why I am better than everyone in the world. Kiss my ass and suck my dick. Everyone. You reached the end. Number three. It made perfect sense. The dude came talking. He just, he just did a burst. And then now, no matter how far I go, where I go, where I'm at, this is why I'm better than all you niggas. I like this one. I remember. I remember the person that requested this one. You know who you are. You know who you are. I remember. It was a while ago. I remember. Trust me. I'm telling you, man. I low key be keeping track. Then I pop up. Like, oh, I gotta do this. I remember. Holla.